installing Avast 8, point 14.92 revision 3.24 on Windows 8.1. The initial screens offers you some choices. Number one, there's a provision for installing Google Chrome and, and make the Google Chrome your default browser. If you do not want Google Chrome installed on your system, uncheck these two items. Otherwise, you will have Google Chrome as your default browser. Don't yet have Google Chrome on it. I will leave these two items checked because I use Google Chrome as my default browser. However, I always install a custom install. Never use the express installation. So we'll check custom. The default locations are fine. Again, select custom so you can make changes or eliminate things you don't want installed. Custom. And I don't want the gadget. And that's the uncheck. Everything else on here is fine with me. So select next. You get a chance to look and make sure that everything that's on here is something you're happy with. Otherwise, you can always go back and uncheck next agree to the user license if you don't yet have security for your Android smartphone or tablet and this is a great time to install it it won't interfere with the installation of Avast's antivirus program but then you'll have protection on both your smartphone tablet and your operating system. It's now busy installing Google Chrome. This will probably take a while. Chrome's been installed. And the program itself has been installed. That's why you get a smiley face. At this point, you have one of two options. If you click the Get, get Help Online, it will tell you that Avast 8 is not compatible with 8, Windows 8.1 and it will be disabled. The other option is to run the program without getting help, which is what I've done in Windows 8.1 and Avast are now installed on my system and outside of a couple of little error messages, they're running fine. So leave it with the run the program without getting help.